So we are back for episode 2 of Moonplace Subnautica, and I don't know if you just saw it, there are bubbles coming out of the ground here, and those bubbles are actually kind of useful. They do refill your oxygen meter, and as you can see looking around, I was actually out getting a salvage run when I saw these bubbles, figured it'd be important to tell you guys that if it's always worth digging them out if you see them. Sometimes they don't really form bubbles that'll go to the surface. That one was pretty shallow. There have been deeper ones. So it's always worth digging them out. Sometimes they aren't buried at all. But uh, they can they can really do they can really save your life. Anyhow, today we are going to build a scanner and get some mobility. And to do that, we need to watch out for them. They've released gas that can really hurt you. Um, see, I have gathered some stuff. I made a second locker. I have my crap locker and my noms locker. So, let's see what we need to make a scanner. Scanner is going to take two titanium and a battery. Well, we got copper and we got acid mushrooms so we can make ourselves a battery. And there is the battery. Actually, we can make ourselves two batteries. And then I'm pretty sure we have titanium in here. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves a scanner. And the scanner is going to be how you get additional blueprints and learn about your surroundings. Get some food. So it's pretty important. It's vital to the game. And of course, you can press your number keys to choose which slot that's going to be in and then drawing it by pressing either one, which is my knife, or two, which is a scanner. What you do with the scanner is, you see, we have these things here, and this is exactly what we're looking for. This is the Sea Glide. It, um, you get several pieces. It will allow you to go a lot faster. So let me see if I can find, you see, we can scan this peeper, kind of. He's fast. He doesn't want to be scanned. And we got him. Now we're gonna catch him. So yeah, that's how you use the scanner. And I'll be right back when I find more fragments. Alright, it's getting starting to sun's starting to go down. But we have found another fragment. This is a sea glide fragment. I'm kinda surprised because they're usually found in the creep vine forest. And I have actually just unlocked the, the sea glide, so let's see what all we need. We'll go back here, we'll see if we have what we need to make it. You can check in your blueprints here oh, this to see what it takes to make it. And it'll tell you right here, or I like to just check in the uh, replicator. So you need a battery, which we have, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. Lubricant is three creep vine, and copper wire is two copper. I don't know if we have two copper. We have two copper. And I actually made lube earlier, but for the sake of this video, I will just use... I'll make some more. So, lube. Copper wire. And I can't remember what else it needed. Ah, titanium. One titanium. Go ahead and we've made the sea glide and we're gonna put it in slot three because that's just a slot I'd like it in. And now it is quite dark. But um sea glide, as you can see, he's looking at it and holding it up where you can't see, but it increases your speed. Oh, they changed the sound it makes. Hello. It's another sea glide fragment. They changed the sound it makes. And it looks like they've moved the fragments around. I would expect to find more of the uh, solar panel. There's one. Solar panel fragments, which will be useful somewhere else. 
let's go ahead and get that. And that would be the Sea Glide. And I'm going to go get some more stuff so I can show you how to make a beacon, and I will be right back. Alright, we're back at the pod, we've got the supplies. So to make a beacon, you need a thing of copper wire, which is two copper ore. And you need a titanium nugget thing, so... There's the beacon. Beacons are useful to have in your equipment, because sometimes you'll be exploring and you'll say, Huh, my pod has floated off from where it was. Um, that is a danger, and you can lose your stuff, so I'm actually going to put this beacon right here. But usually it's handy to have a beacon so that you will be able to find, find things again. And you have to be careful with those pods because they will float off. I've had one float off the edge of the map and had to use the big submarine to go... Uh, to go several, uh, several, um, you can label these, of course, several minutes off the map to get this done. So let's just put down, uh, start so that we know where that is. I'll probably have to make another one because this, this, um, but it's a good idea not to store anything in this. It's pretty early in the game, so if we lost the pod, if it went off the edge of the map, we would not be able to get it back. And you can see, actually, I'm not moving, and I'm starting to slide. That is a bug. I don't... I guess it's a bug. I guess they're fixing it, but, uh... It can be game-breaking, because you'll... you won't be able to make anything, so... You know, it's, it's just important to do... To, to keep an eye on that. It's also important to keep extra batteries on hand because um, you need batteries. Let me just dump some stuff out here. Um, you, your items will run out of batteries. I just noticed that the scanner does use up battery now. Um, this area is pretty safe, so it won't really matter if I drop all my stuff out here. Except for fish, of course, because they'll just swim away. But, um... The other thing I wanted to show y'all was how to make a still suit, which is pretty important. So, so to make a still suit, we need fiber mesh, which the stuff to make that is located in the creepvine forest, which is over here. Because the still suit, if you're familiar with Dune, will help you reclaim water. I am going to keep an eye on that escape pod because it may decide to disappear on me. But you pull your knife, you whack the creepvine. And two creep vine makes one fiber mesh. We need two fiber mesh. So, you know, you do that. Got pretty close. Really, really close to drowning that time. But, uh, yeah, this, you can see this goes so much faster. But it does consume batteries. So, we will make the fiber mesh, and then we'll see what else we need to make the still suit. And to make the still suit, we will need silver ore. And the silver ore is located deep in the safe shallows, deep in the creep vine, or also in the grassy plateaus, which we have not seen yet. So let me go find some. If I go to the grassy plateaus, I will show you what that looks like, and I will be right back. Alright, so we're on the edge of the creep vine and the grassy plateaus. I'm going to run out of batteries, so I'm going to put this away. Well, that's creepy sounding. Oh, and then there's these fish right here. Just be careful. Having the knife is always nice, because you can teach these guys what for. Propulsion cannon. Okay, I'm being just mobbed. Modification station. And as you can see, those little biters are pretty terrible. What we are looking for is, um... 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Is actually, uh... This area is really unsafe. Oh, hello, wreckage. 
what we were looking for is um, silver ore. I do have a health pack on me, so that will work out pretty well. Silver ore is usually found pretty deep. I'll look at this wreck. I'll explore this wreck in a little bit. But the silver ore is found pretty deep. I think I see some. It's found in sandstone outcrops, while titanium is found in limestone. So that was a that was a limestone outcrop. It had titanium in it. And here's another one. It's also limestone. They tend to be deeper, so I don't know if I'm gonna really be able to go this go deep enough. Um, that's important, but I'm oh. Yeah, you don't want those. Um, I'm trying to focus on finding that, so... That's the grassy plateaus. You've seen the hazards that are in that. I'm gonna go see if I can't find some silver. So I caught it creeping off. And as you can see, it's kind of creeped back to where it was. So, if you're... Generally speaking, if you catch it early enough, the, the escape pod will come back. I went out and I got the silver I needed to make the steel suit. I got it from the grassy plateaus. And the steel suit, as you can see, my water is getting dangerously low. And capturing body moisture to chemically neutralize residual odors in bodily fluids before re-ingestion. Please press the activation button in the next three seconds. You have chosen not to activate chemical taste neutralization. Thank you and have a nice day. So, uh, that chemical taste thing, you can't really do anything about it. And what it does is it, uh, makes your, uh, it, when you drink the recycled water, it takes away some food. It makes you kind of queasy. So, I ran out of battery while I was out where I'm almost out of battery. So, I'm going to use that to make another battery. Batteries are very important got enough copper, copper to make a couple of them. See, I've got 1% charge on my Sea Glide. And so today we went and we made a scanner. Then we got the Sea Glide blueprint. We got a couple other blueprints. And we made a still suit to protect ourselves from water loss. So that's going to be it for today. You guys have a good one.